Once you've added your scaffolds on the software, they'll be available for users to complete handovers and inspections. To complete a handover, we log into the handover app and we go to handover. We choose the site and we choose whether it's an initial handover for a new scaffold or a handover, a re handover to an existing scaffold. In this case, it's initial. Choose the scaffold we wish to hand over. You can select multiples at this stage if you wish to and click done. You'll be presented with the handover form. This shows you what needs completing before that handover certificate can be generated and submitted. So we need to work through these options, completing them until we've got a screen full of green ticks. So we're going to go additional details. These are customizable options. The ones on screen now are ones that I've got set up in my demo copy of the software. You may well have different ones and you can customize these in the settings of the software. And we'll look at that in a different course. So we're just going through and we're completing the options that are required by the software to complete the handover. Everything that's required is denoted by an amber or a red tick. Once they're all completed, we can click done. That section is now green ticked, showing that it's been completed and we can move on. Next step is for us to add a photo. To do this, we can either take a photo from the camera or we can add it from the gallery. I'm using an emulator for this video, so I'm going to add it from the gallery. You can then add additional photos by going back to gallery or back to the camera. Take as many as you like, the more the better really, and hit save. We've got a green tick on the photos now, so the software's happy we can progress. We've got um, an inspection to complete for the handover. This isn't a seven day inspection, this is an identified risk inspection. So this is where we capture anything on the scaffold that presents a risk and remains um, in the construction of the scaffold, normally due to customer request. So if there's an identified risk, we can say yes. We can click in to set the details of it. So if there's more than one, we can add multiples, but we'll just add one for this video. So what is the risk? Missing internal edge protection. Maybe a window access has been left clear so that the window can be fitted, but it presents a fall risk. We can select the reason, client request in this case. We can put in some notes. Enter the notes, hit save, we can take additional photos, I'm going to upload one from the gallery in this case, and click save, done to come out of that form. If we want to add another risk we can do that here, or we can click done to go back to the main form, and then just some details to be added here. And what this will do is when we click done, we get a green tick, that's completed. The last option is to set a next inspection date. Automatically it will be seven days in the future. If you want you can change the date now so that it coincides with other inspections on the site. Click done and we get a preview of the handover certificate. And if you'll note that identified risk that we detailed is highlighted in red right above the signature to make it obvious to your customer. You've got two signature boxes at the bottom of the form. One for the member of staff completing the handover and a second for the customer or the person on site that's signing on behalf of the customer. Okay. If you've got more than one contact on site, you can choose them from the drop down list here. Click save and then click done. We get a prompt on screen to show us that handover has been successful. If you don't see that, it's likely that something's been missed and the handover will have been saved in your in progress section. Click OK. That handover is completed now and ready to sync up software so that the email can be sent to the client with a copy of the report. So we'll hit sync to make sure that that's uploaded and the handover is complete. Once that syncs up, the email will trigger from the software. The customer will receive a PDF copy of the uh, handover doc documents. And if you've set yourself up as a recipient as well, you'll get them too. As well as automatically sending it to the customer, the handover will also be visible in your copy of the software. So when you go onto your software, go into your activity tab, this shows you real-time information of what's been done on site today, 
we can see the handover that's just been completed, we can click on the handover, we can see the details that have been recorded by our member of staff, and we can download the PDF report here if we need to forward it on to anyone or if we want it for our own records. The report will also be accessible in the report section as well as within the site itself. If we take a look at the certificate, we can see that we've got all the details that have been recorded on site, our identified risk is there, our additional details are there, we've got an acceptance section containing the signatures that's time and date stamped by ourselves and the customer, as well as the photos included in an appendix on the document.